Hello, this is Eduardo Jimenez. I'm here to talk about the advanced offline batching tool, which is part of the advanced batcher plugin for Unity that we developed. <coughs> so we're gonna use the sample scene, a scene that comes with the plugin, and as you can see, there's lots of objects, uh, different objects, each of them, well, they have different textures and different colors, um, tint in the, the, the object, you know. And we are that that, that means that the Unity Batcher has a hard time trying to batch them all together. And as a result, we have 203 draw calls in this camera. We've already um, but, uh, saved 34 due to the Unity Unity's batching. So um, we got what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna um, batch together all these objects first. I prepare already to do that. Um, all these objects um, go into a, a single, well, we're going to be batched with a single um, dialog, well, it's a single button press. So we go to uh, the menu, custom batching, advanced offline batching, and the um, dialog appears. We have to drag and drop the background objects to the root objects to merge. We want the batch background objects to be the root uh, of the objects merged. We are okay with this folder and uh, the maximum number of polys per batch, we're going to put it to 8192, which is 8k. No maximum number of objects per batch, uh, no max distance between objects, and the maximum number size uh, 1k. And we want to match materials, so it's all okay. Let's start the batching. It takes a few seconds, and up we go. And all of a sudden, we got um, the objects divided by um, in three different batches. So the two for the diffuse material, which has all the textures inside, so you can see. And then there's one for the specular material, where the textures, there's only one, one object with the specular, with one single texture that hasn't been packed. That's cool, and um, well, that has reduced a lot the number of um, of draw calls. <coughs> it, it initially, it was two hundred and three draw calls, uh, but well, we can still do a little bit more. So um, the ground and the, and the and the walls can be bad too. The thing is, they are using tiled um, textures. That means that they that we cannot batch them normally, you know, as we have batched the rest of the scene. Um, due to those restrictions, we have to batch them in a special way. So we go and uh, go to the same, we're going to do the same, uh, we're going to use the same dialogue, the same tool, which is custom batching, advanced bat offline batching. We're going to put the environment cube as the root of the objects to merge, and the batch environment as the target, as an object merged. We're gonna change the folder, so it has the environment here, you can change the number of polys, and the distance or the other size, but we uh, are gonna set the don't merge materials to true. That will imply that materials will not be merged together or changed in any way. That's gonna preserve the material um, properties. So you just click the button and okay. What's happened? Thing is, objects uh, in here didn't have the cast shadow option uh, ticked. But by default, everything that we uh, generate in the with the batcher has it. So to fix that, we just go select the object and check the cast shadow so they're not they have not the walls and the ground are not casting shadows any longer. And voila, we got the same the same scene that we had initially. So initially it was 203 uh, draw calls. Now we have 23 draw calls. We have saved almost 90% of the draw calls using this button. And that was after some 15% that was saved already by uh, by Unity by Unity button. So effectively, we have saved over a 90% of the draw calls. <coughs> Well, hope you find this tutorial uh, useful and feel free to drop me an email to unity at eclipsegames.net or, um, or leave a comment in the, in the comment sections below. Thank you very much for watching.